guys, welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Ndunawe Ngombe, which means headman of cattle. Which means headman of cattle in English. My name, of course, is Mitchell Mutumba Simata, aka the headman of cattle. Today, on this cold, today on the 19th, on this cold Monday, on the 19th of June 2021, I felt that I should speak about a cattle breed that I believe a lot of us probably crossed if we are running these two breeds on our farm, and that is the Shadow. The Shara Bay, this is a Shara Bay bull, comes in that color. There's a Shara Bay cow down there, uh, and this is a Shara Bay cow with calves. So let's talk about the Shara Bay and the history. The tagline of the Shara Bay is a breed in a class of their own. So let's get into the Shara Bay now. The cattle breed, Shara Bay, was, originated, was originally tested in Australia in early 1960. At the time, the founders of the Shara Bay Society used Charlotteness and Brahman cattle to obtain the Shara Bay. To be a registered Shara Bay animal, the breed has the breed has a range between 25% and 75% either way between the Charlotteness and the Brahman. The introduction between the Charlotteness and Brahman after 50 plus years has now put the Shara Bay cattle as a leading breed in its own right in Australia. Generation, um, generation, bre generation bred Shara Bays are now graded as high as C6, which was recently introduced from C5, to emphasize that the Shara Bay is a breed on its own, and this gives con consistency to the prodigies of to the prodigies of the cattle produced. The color of the Shara Bay cattle range from white through to, uh, through, to, uh, through to red. These colors are all acceptable to the Shara Bay society. All acceptable. The Shara Bay, Shara Bay bulls is structurally sound and has the ability to work as required over large areas in all environments, hot or cold, he can also be used over many other breeds to produce top quality animals that will yield good carcass weight and quality meat and uh, quality meat at the end of the day. Shara Bay females reach puberty at 14 months and are therefore ready to calve at approximately two years. They should be ready. They should be ready to join every year. Many Shara Bay females have been known to have had at least ha have had 13 to 14 calves in 13 to 14 years. Milk production, which is good, easy of calving and mothering and good mothering ability, makes the Shara Bay a very good cow to work with. Now I got weights. Shara Bay, let's go with the males. I believe this is the heaviest weight you can get them. Males weigh about a thousand kgs. I believe this is the heaviest. Females weigh about 800 kgs. The occurrence in Namibia is... Uh, wow, we're all over the place today. <laughs> occurrence in Namibia is scarce, but I believe some people probably have them. They haven't just registered them. Because as I said, it's crossbreeding between the Brahman and the... and the, the Brahman and the... and Shalani cattle. So, it's considered to be... Carcass, carcass maturity, it's late maturing. Growth rate, it's it's high. Got very high growth rate on felt and... Uh, uh, and felt conditions is very high. No production is uh, medium. Uh, conformation of muscle is heavy. He it's heavy to excellent. Uh, puberty, it's a late maturing animal. Uh, occurrence is scarce. Uh, the type of animal it is is a composite breed. As I mentioned, it's cross out of two. Um, it's registered as a large frame animal. This could explain the weight of a thousand kgs for a bull to eight hundred kgs for a female. So those are the f Australian Shara Bear. I can't say American or. I can't say French Shara uh, Bay, but they're cross out of American and French cattle. But they are they were first developed in Australia. So this makes them a sought after breed in feedlots. As the grading goes, they get gradings as high as C from C5 to C6. So I think C5 to C6 is probably the highest grading for meat. So on the C grading that it gets, C6, I'm reading here, it says that the best uh, meat source from young livestock is graded as A. And is given a fat score between 0 to 6, where score 2 and 3 are optimum. But grades B and C, while less tender, generally indicate that the meat was sourced from older livestock, but much of this meat may be grass-fed. So it so this animal gets a 
a sea greeting because of its late, uh, maturing and late puberty. But the weights are good, so if you want to get into uh, um, developing cattle for feedlot, I believe you could look at the Shara Bay. As I said, it's crossed out of the Brahman, 25% Brahman, 75% Shara Lay, or you can go 25% Brahman, or you can go 25% Shara Lay and go about 75% uh, 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 I mean, 25% Shara Lay, 75% Brahman. So that's something that you can look to. It's a cattle breed, as I mentioned, was developed, of course, in the Australian outback, in Australia, as the Australia, 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 as most would say. But it was developed in that country, and um, it is it is a heavy animal. And it's a late, it's registered as late maturing, so it's not going to be a fast maturing type of animals, but late maturing animals. And I know with a lot of feedlots, they sometimes look for those late maturing type of breed of cattle, because you can feed them a bit longer and uh, keep them a bit longer and speculate that with the prices so when the price hits at the right mark you might be ready to sell it so those are my two cents on the australian shara bay uh, australian shara bay cattle breed which is of course the cross of a brahman and shalale or shalale and brahman cross developed in australia with that said guys if you guys enjoyed this content that i put out on this video just do me two favors hit that like button give me a huge thumbs up and hit that subscription button turn on your bell notification so you guys are informed of future uploads or videos such as this and with that said, guys, I just want to say have yourself a good evening and bye for now.